production of Christian movies. He has really brought light to Christian movies. And he's not just producing the movies, but he's going the extra mile to orient people, to impact in them the principles of the movie. Okay. That's where sometimes he does movies. You see him going to movie premieres, and the power of the Holy Ghost will be all over the place. People will be speaking in tongues. People will be giving testimonies of healing, revival, and mm -hmm. all of that. So I believe that uh, in recent times, we are seeing um, an orientation of Christian movies. And I would say that it's, it's, it's quite good. Mm -hmm. We would just encourage uh, the producers and whoever is a stakeholder in the Christian movies to keep pushing more resources into it. Because as Pastor said, I believe that we are in an era where we need a lot of uh, concertization on the media space and everywhere for people to really know the relevance of Christian-based movies. Because there are times that you'll be doing some things that you might backslide. Okay. But the essence of these movies will let you know that, no, in as much as you feel you've backslidden, there is still uh, uh, hope for you. There is still... Uh, joy in Christ for you to come back into the scene. That's why the taste of sin has been relevant this time. Because anybody who watches that movie can can relate to the uh, various parts of the movie. When you watch it, you can pick something out. Whether you're a man of God, whether you're a believer, whether you serve in the house of God, whatever you do, whether you're a wife to a pastor, whatever area you find yourself, you can pick something out of those movies. So I feel uh, when it comes to faith-based movies, we really need them now. And we need more and more and more. So we need uh, kingdom investors yeah. and financiers yeah. to push in more resources it's because it's not easy. Um, Pascal Amafa has been doing yeah. well. Yeah. Um, and he has had so much of support from Timo, uh, Pastor Timothy Bentum, Majid Michel, uh, Mata Ankuma, Rosaline. They are doing so well. They are doing so well. And Pastor himself, they are doing so well. We just say that we need more investors to push the resources. There are, I know there are plenty of rich men in the church. They should just bring the money. They should, yeah. they should just come so, and... So, uh, so talking about money, let me go to Shishishi. Um, <laughs> this time, this time they will not spray the money, but they will... They, uh, okay. they, well, they are spraying the industry. They, they are spraying it in the music industry, yeah? yeah. Okay, well, it's, that one is for another day. Okay, so... Um, uh, like, <laughs> there's a faith-based movie know. industry. Is it is it lucrative financially? Um, from from I, where you sit as a pilot, I've not just um, I've not done that analysis to know whether um, they are making. What does it look lucrative? Um, from looking at the few movies I've watched, yes. um, I think there are a lot of investment that have gone into it. It's um, just a taste of thing that I've really seen blown out there like that. Uh, I've seen that um, the Dominion TV, um, is the, the brain behind the entire production. And I've seen that the Apostolic Church yeah. is also trying to um, bring out movies yes, yes. and series grace. in that um, target. I believe that whatever you invest in and uh, with the grace of God, certainly you are going to get um, dividends. So I know that if as ZK is saying, we put in more effort yes. because what's the essence of movie? To educate, mm -hmm. to entertain, and to inform, right? So if we want to educate people, we want to entertain our people, mm -hmm. why don't you give them what will educate them right, mm -hmm. then allow them go watch whatever they want, yeah. right? So if we are doing Christian movies mm -hmm. or, or Christian um, musics, so that and, um, the people would rather listen to the Christian song. Mm -hmm. So that they will not go and um, listen to the secular ones. Why don't we also do more faith-based movies so that they can also channel their energy and their strength on the Christian one? After watching, mm -hmm. even if after, after the entertainment, you get something out of it. Mm -hmm. We are talking about taste of sin. Yeah. We are talking about um, if you backslide, you the, the movie teaches, teaches you that um, you will not stay there. You have to bounce back. Mm -hmm. But watching the movie, this is what I saw. I saw that no matter how powerful you are. The devil can tempt you. Mm. That's what I picked up after, after a movie. So if a movie like that is spread out there, every Christian, regardless of wherever you find yourself, you take a note from it. Yeah. So we, we need people to support more, but I don't know whether we are getting money out because the Christian uh, music side is suffering. It's so so we are not. But I love you. You, you are a director. Yeah, I'm telling you, we are not getting money. I won't lie about it. We are not getting money. Really? Do you want to try it? If you want to try it, take it upon yourself. Yes. Go to Papa. Mm -hmm. In all humility, say, Papa, say, Frank Raja, mm -hmm. give me the franchise for six months. Wow. 
and move to all the big churches in this country and tell me if you even get a quarter of the room filled with Christians to come and watch that film. If you get it, then you know what I'm saying. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is a canker. It is, see what, what she, she, she is in right now. Yes. The money will only come. I'm telling you, if Christians will patronize Christian movies that are done with excellence, because, okay. if we are talking about people coming to patronize, it also has to be excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Not just anything. anything. Shit will do a great job. Taste of sin yeah. is sweet. Okay? Frank Raja, of course. Yeah. It's sweet. Yeah. God is African. Pascal, okay. it's sweet. I think people who watch in the cinema and they are praying in tongues. Yeah. People who have not even received Holy Ghost baptism started receiving it there. Yeah. People could not stand on their feet. Yeah. Look at the revival that thing is doing. Yeah. Do you know Pascal tried premiering those movies in churches? Yeah. He stopped. He, sto really? I'm tell he stopped. Because it he, he, he was a waste. Do you know the funny thing to you? Mm -hmm. You go to these churches, they yeah. charge you for the space. So, of course, you use electricity, you use a condition, you, so perfect. But so the church must get something, yes, that's fine. But where are the, where are the people to come and watch? Or, 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 or maybe, Pastor, maybe it's because people are just, you know, they're, they're always going to church and maybe they want to watch, watch it at the cinema. So maybe that is why people actually don't go and watch these movies in the, in the church. Is that a case? If you understand what an atmosphere does. Okay. You would say that you need to get to the cinema. There's an atmosphere. There's an atmosphere. Uh, get into that atmosphere. How many members has Action got? Let's do this movie, Three Days Continues, and let all the members across Ghana, only Accra, all the branches, all of them. At, 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 at Silverbird, uh, the Silverbird is 300 boss. That's the biggest. Yeah. The biggest is not up to 400. How many premieres will you do to... Do, do you know how much goes into film? How many premieres will you do? Yeah. How many... Even if you do you, two shoots, do. two um, uh, showing, so we'll have 600 people. That is it. Few. For one week, cry and say, listen, if you want to do things and pay for well and get the best out of it, yes. you don't bring Shishishi and say, I'm, I'm bringing Majid, I'll pay Majid $20,000. Let me go that crazy. And I'll pay Shishishi $3,000. No. If in real film, mm -hmm. we pay... Her character, and then once a while we look at personality. personality. But if he's a major character, there is a budget for major character. Whether him or Majid, it is ten thousand dollars. It is ten thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. But we don't have all those things. We we, we don't. I am telling you mm -hmm. that you see this Christian film you are yeah. talking about. Mm -hmm. If it was stunned and it to be good, eh? I'm telling you an authority. People who are not Christians are the ones who make it great. Christians will sink it. But don't you think it's, it's, it's a matter of... I, I'm sorry. I just have to be blunt. Christians, Christians... Christians will sink it. See, we are the most people with unnecessary grudges. We are the most people with unnecessary hatred. But I don't know. Before, before you continue, don't you think it's a matter of producers not being creative in selling their own product? Instead how? Of, yeah, maybe they are not creative enough. How? How, how, how best do you want to yeah, say? Yeah, how? Maybe instead of sin, can't you so, find other so ways to your product? What is in taste of sin that does not make it good? Like, I want to understand. Yeah. Is it not so relatable that apart from God, there are so many things, the instance he brought, God resists yeah. the proud with what Majid did. Right. Be careful what you say with your own town, mm -hmm. with what Majid said, and he laid him on the hospital. So why should we, why should we depend on the church to actually sell, um, sell our products, sell our movies? Just the church. Okay, so the premises, if, yes. if we are talking about um, faith base, yes. who is the crusader for the faith base? It's the church. It's the church. So if some, somebody has a product mm -hmm. that is um, selling what the church is already selling, so the church is supposed to be the medium for, for the movie producers. So the church always be the main target audience. Yeah, yes. yes. The movie because they, outside, they, coming, what about yeah. the unchair, those who are not seen? How many people propagating Christ to? I have seen this of sin. Yes, you have seen it. Do you know the number of my colleagues have told them to watch who are not Christians? Mm. Because I have seen it. Because you have seen and it. And as a Christian, I'm like, come on. They'll see, 80% of those Christians you see there yeah. cannot stand one on one with someone to do evangelism. They can't. Yeah. If you leave them right now here to talk to somebody on the street, they will dodge. They can't. Mm -hmm. So you cannot, at least, the film will do that evangelism for you. Mm -hmm. Just tell somebody, tell you, watch the film. You have done evangelism. You have done it. You have comfortably. Done evangelism. Yes. God is an African. Somebody will watch it and, and, and know. Let me tell you. Yes. I will not mention the faith the person was in, but somebody was in another faith, not mm -hmm. a Christian. And the person was selling passion, 
that passion of the Christ. Mel, you know, uh, those yes, times yes. you were selling those seeds. Mel, Mel Gibson passion. The Mel, Mel Gibson's one. Yes. They were four and they were selling it. And then when they brought the CD, yeah. my father was about to buy the CD. He said, the thing you are selling, do you know it? He said, eh, they say some man, his name is Jesus, he died. My father said, come, I want us to watch so that I'll see the CD is good. Okay. By the time we watched, and when he started watching, yeah. my father said, oh, let's forward, let's forward it okay. today. He wanted the crucifixion of Christ. Mm -hmm. So he said, let's forward, let's forward it. When the guy started watching mm. what Jesus was going through, yeah. All we saw was the guy was having tears, yes. and all four of them, for no reason, they, they held themselves like this. That means this and movie was, was was produced, I mean, professionally and by a Spring Food producer. Mm -hmm. And then coming to my next question, does it mean that professional, like, should movies, should faith-based movies be directed by professionals or bishops or pastors? Oh. Okay, so just after Pastor De Long, Ziki, Ziki. Oh, uh, a so, producer can be anybody. Please yeah, talk. This yeah, one day. Yeah. Ziki. I think a producer can be anybody. It, yeah. Once a person... Even if the person is not spirit-filled or born again. Because mm -hmm. Mel Gibson's Passion of Christ, I mean, Frank Raja, we, we, we have Pascal Amanfo, I mean, people who I'm sure they had encounters with God before they wrote the script. Do you think we need more spirit-filled uh, professionals to actually produce fake Of course. Movies? I believe that for you to be able to write a very spirit-filled script, yes. you should have that personal encounter, yeah. encounter with God yeah, because you can't just put together anything and you expect that thing to make impact okay. you can't give what you don't you, have yeah, exactly you can't give what you don't yeah, have exactly that's the right word you can't give yeah, what you don't have, have. Yeah. you should have that personal encounter mm -hmm. with God that's the reason why when you watch uh, Pascal Amanfo's um, premieres mm -hmm. you can see that he has gotten that personal encounter with God I've actually seen a time that they were even going to a place to premiere the movie they prayed from the beginning from their from their journey when they started pray that till they arrived at mm -hmm. the place yeah. and when they got there and started to premiere the movie the test that happened there trust me so you can't just be anybody to 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 write or direct a christian based movie yeah. it's a faith based movie so you the director or producer or writer you should have the faith yourself because if you don't have it, you can't give out what you don't have. If you don't have it, you can't give out what you don't have. Definitely, you can't. Pastor Long, you, can't. Pastor Long, you are a director. Are there instances where the directors or the producers are not Christians, but they're able to channel good Christian movies? Well, you know, that is, that, that is he coming in with just that expertise yes, as a technical yes, person. Okay. He comes in with it. But I'm telling you what, there are certain things. You know, because as a director, when you are directing yeah. on set, mm -hmm. so many things change. Things can change. Oh, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. What the script has said, a lot. A lot. A lot of things change. You understand? A lot of things change. There's a script I've written. There's mm -hmm. a scene for a pastor. Okay. I've written the script. But I've told myself that anytime I'm shooting this scene, I'll just tell the man of God, flow. Mm -hmm. I'll not even let him watch the script. Mm -hmm. okay. Because it's a counseling scene. Okay. And I want him to be as natural as, as possible. Yeah. And if what taste of sin, I can tell you an authority. 95% of Papa said, of what Papa said, was not scripted. It was not scripted. I could clearly see it. Yeah. You can yeah. see that it was, it was coming by revelation, yeah. by ocean, yeah. Yeah. and that is a thing. So, for that one, a producer, any, any, but if you are not, anybody can produce. Yeah. But you know the biggest problem of the church? Mm -hmm. she, she, she can be a splendid di movie director mm -hmm. who has studied film, okay. but he will never be useful in the church because they don't see it that He'll way. He'll never be useful in the church. Because they don't see him that way. So now, music video people are calling him, and then I don't realize he's gone. He's gone. When he's gone, he's not, then the church will not come and preach a sliding message to him. To him. <laughs> but what? So we'll, 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 we'll continue. We'll continue. We have we have a couple of messages. So I have a, I have a comment by Trey Bird. Trey Bird is saying that Christian filmmakers need to invest and have faith that they will make returns as long as the story is good. And of good production value. You're still watching Gospel PR. We'll go for a break and we're back right here as you want the show. Stay tuned.
hear the gossips. They say that we can pray for a barren woman to get pregnant. Yet, I am barren. I can't give you a child. Then we'll adopt one. My man is on fire. The devil's in trouble. He's anointed. <laughs> Let him that thinks he stands. I actually came here to fight. Take heed. I can fight it anymore. Unless he falls. This issue has projected a bad image. And yet, you are collecting money from the members in the name of donating to the poor. Open it. Father, may her enemies die. Amen. I command fresh oil on your head. Amen. Your hands shall never lie. Amen. I see stories in your eyes, but yet I can't make sense out of it. How dare you! Tell me it is not true! You love it. Yes, I do. <laughs> A Taste of Sin, now shown on Netflix. Excited about life and just, you know, blessed to be, you know, a part of God's kingdom now. You're watching Get Ready With Mo, and I am your host, Monique Laws. How did you become the chief of Okasombo? My queen mother called me that I should come home for a discussion. When I got home, I said, you are not going back. Your uncle is dead. You have to take over the military. Wow. Oh my gosh, happy to see you, my boy. No, you were on The Voice UK. You won. You yes. smashed it. By the grace of God. So what is the fear of opening my mouth to speak? Some kind of fear. Hey, 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 hey. Let's cut that root out. Let me try again. You know where that's coming from. Yes. But he forgot to use me, you know? Amen. We love a vessel. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready with Mo. Starting your day the right way. Welcome back to Gospel PR on Dominion TV, Africa's Christian Lifestyle Network. We've been having a wonderful discussion on face-based movies, the demand for it, and we've, we've, had a, we've had a wonderful convo with ZK, with Pastor DeLong, and of course, the Shishishi man. Let me go back and read some messages from our viewers. Um, so, yeah, Ellie is saying that Shishishi, you look amazing as always. I salute. Hey, Shishishi. Shishishi has fun, too. So. The fireman. <laughs> and Yael is also saying that True Talk, Pastor, uh, Prosperity Lab is saying, why should the church be blamed if Christians are not watching the faith-based movies? Maybe the producer and marketers do not market it well. Mm. Taste of Sin is doing well because it was well marketed. Let me also take another one from Max Onowusu Menu. He's saying that, great show, I love this topic. More awesome Christian movies coming up soon. Let me, let me, let me read the one from Tribed. Tribed said that, Christian filmmakers need to invest and have faith that they'll make returns as long as the story is good and of good production value. So um, it's been a wonderful time. Um, still, we need to continue. Your, 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 your views concerning the, the comments that I just um, read. So I would say that when you are outside the game, you see it different. But yeah. when, when you are directly involved, you, you know things better. Mm. I believe uh, Pastor has so much in-depth knowledge when it comes to producing Christian movies yeah. and its marketability. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I believe that the entire Ghanaian movie industry uh, has shaken a bit. Oh, yes, of course. Interesting. Of course, the, those times that we used to watch the Majid Michel and the John Dumelos and those times, yeah. and now you can see that the movie industry itself has been affected. Wow. Yes. So with Christian movies coming into the scene. I believe that um, it's just a step in the right direction yeah. and there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, trust me, no one has marketed uh, Af uh, God is an African more than Pascal. Pascal, Pascal. yeah. He, did, he, did. he, he has, has, done, he has done a lot. I, you are stone now. Of yeah. course. So yeah. what else should he do what again? I believe that it's not just a matter of uh, the marketability. Yeah. It's a matter of Christians. Like you. you should call who? 
Look, these two guys, they can go on on and on. Pass it along. Well, <laughs> with what she has said, I think it's also a factor. Yes. The thing is, the Christendom, we always say that we are united, but sincerely, yeah. we are not so united as we, 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 we claim. Because if we are, we can use ourselves as channels to just push this. Mm. If Christians come together and with our faith to build one particular thing, nothing can stop us. Mm. And, and that thing, don't joke with, nothing can stop us. Mm -hmm. You understand? Exactly. So, clearly, he's a blogger. Yes. He's a blogger. Yeah. If you tell them about a Christian movie, and they have a glimpse of it and they think it's something sweet that is marketable mm -hmm. and they want to do it it is good that you come to that consensus that Charlie, bro that is the situation on the ground so a contract declare let's sign mm -hmm. is it christians like oh, and yet, isn't uh, very good yeah of course stop it. God, stop it god will do it stop it mm -hmm. stop it yes when you get to the car garage, yeah. when print on. I had a boshi haba. Yeah, like, I need to sign the car. Then you tell them to give you the car keys. Hey, I like that. I like that one. I like that one. Uh, yeah. What he's saying. saying is very true. What is it? Why we? Uh, so we need a balance. Over so. religious. Yes, now. Uh, you want to, now. If you want him to, if you want him to block like this, this thing, uh -huh. correct like this one. Yes. yes. I like this one. See, the best thing he can do for you is, Jack. When I block for this, it is maybe a five thousand. But Charlie, you have to make three thousand. Yes. So, then you do don't you think that the producers are not marketing it like like they're not marketing this well? So, so you see, I, I mean, the returns are not coming. So they market this well. The money go come now. No, see, uh, what I think is that it's a Christian thing. I'll come to you. Yes, it's a Christian it's, thing. It's a Christian thing. It's a Christian thing. So we need every Christian on board. Yes. See, we shouldn't leave it for the for just movie uh, fraternity or yes, the film industry. Okay. So it's like, yeah, yes, point. man of God. So I see one of the selling points of Taste of Sin was the fact that we saw Papa in the trailer. I'm yes. telling you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm telling yes. you. Mm -hmm. So one of the point. selling points. So just yeah. imagine a movie that we have also another great man of God uh -huh. inside, the inside there. Maybe for the trailer you see him, but in the real movie, he's just a person. Don't you think that was, just, don't you think that was a marketing approach from, from Dominion? It doesn't matter. I, yeah, yeah. It doesn't it matter. It's perfect. Yeah, it I, makes I, sense. I want, I want to give another scenario to watch the shishis. I'm yes. not cutting him. Mm -hmm. There's another movie. The, the key thing they say is me or Kuku Sheshe. Yes. I'm the movie. There's Professor Lee. There's Arome. Another, Arome. Yes. He played Arome a key is, role Arome in marketing that movie. Yes. Um, Arome is in that Yeah. Is that so movie. I think that one so too. Yes. You can look at it and from that So angle. just imagine. Oh. There's a movie that we have. Um, Joe Metal, Diner. Um, I mean, I mean, even um, like sometimes I, one I, of I, my, happy my surprise, day. happy surprise by yeah. my own boss, Max Olusu. I mean, what? It's, it's a Joe Metal, it's a pastor, Edwin Dadson, and all of that. Mm -hmm. they, they, I, I mean, so, so I think so. Let's widen the, 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 the scope. Okay, the scope. so on that, like, let yeah. me just encourage our viewers, especially watching us on our socials, Facebook, YouTube. That look, you can send in your comments and are already live on the show. Now, Pastor Delong, yes, sir. Is it very, very essential to have actors who are faith based? Just you, an actor, you, a director. Is it possible to have Imagine Michelle, uh, Pascal Amanfo? Uh, I mean, to have a Mata Ankoma, all Christians acting only Christian movies uh, and no secular movies? Is it possible? Okay, here's the thing. Let me give you this scenario. Yes. We shoot a film. Mm -hmm. um, you have a character yes. play, maybe she, she plays a role. I'm sorry that I'm using you, but he plays oh, a major role. He, he, he plays a major role. Yes. And he he's so strong in the faith. His character makes people Charlie even give their life to Christ. Okay. Yeah? And then you who give your life to Christ. Mm -hmm. You see him standing in front of Akramo mm. smoking. Mm. Okay. How will you take it? Perfect. Yes. That is the person who led me to Christ through his film. Yeah. Yeah. Then, the next, time. the next time. So it is why we say it is necessary to use faith-based people. But you see, the problem with us Christians is most of us are so over-religious mm. that as soon as we pick him, we start assessing him from his hair. <laughs> All down. I'm telling you. Most people are so over religious. Over and they say they have to assess you. They say, because you have to tell it at any time. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you can, you can yeah, so, so, so these, these things are very, very important. The people must understand. It's a Christian film. Mm -hmm. okay. You understand? You take people in, and then you pick other people intentionally that, okay, the role I'm giving this guy, I know he's not a Christian, yeah. but I'm using it as a bait to let him understand our work. Okay. Our Christian faith. 
by the time it is done, this guy will come to our side. Some can be very intentional about that. But when you use people who are in it and they are Christian bit, and I'm telling you, there are people where no matter what this boy does, you know that some people no matter what I do, when they see me, hey, a court or rebel, they don't uh, care whether I'm a bishop. Uh -huh. <laughs> they don't care. They don't, do they care? Uh, that's what they know you for. Uh, they know you as a court or when they feel a court or tell it, what panther hey, tell it, they're a bishop, we the fancy move, but what can they that's how they are. Okay. Okay. And and such then so imagine he has friends like that. When he tells them tell they go check, matter go over there, every day he yeah. go check. But when they see him in the movie, play a particular role. You see, a movie can carry you to the side that you will forget that the person is playing a character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you feel that is the person's life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'll be amazed the number of his friends who say, Charlie, next week Sunday I won't go to church plus you. Awesome. And, he, and that evangelism is done mm. perfectly. I'm telling you, what Papa did with Taste of Sin, God bless him. Amen. The number of people who have seen the film yeah. and have learnt, and even men of God, men of God who have not even had access to come to Action Chapel, mm -hmm. have been able to see the film and they have connected to what Papa was saying. Mm -hmm. And the scenario between Majid and Papa, uh, in, our in our generation, countless, mm -hmm. countless. Mm -hmm. countless. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, countless, a lot of people will watch it and they will learn mm -hmm. from it. And we need, we need such. Is, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it possible to have Christian actors who just focus on Christian movies and not secular ones? Uh, it's possible. Before, before well, I read the comments. If the, if, if, uh, if the industry is well built, yes. if the Christian faith-based system or industry is well built and strong and is bringing remuneration, mm -hmm. I don't know why someone who is really making it out of Christian movies would want to go and act a secular movie. Mm -hmm. If they are Christians and what they, whatever they are doing is bringing money, I believe that they won't go to the other side. Mm -hmm. so, so I think that when the system is really working, when structures are put in place yes. and everything is going on well, mm -hmm. I don't know why Emma Tankuma will be acting a Christian movie and everything is going well with her. Yes, and she yes, went act a movie, a movie, excuse me to say, and be kissing yeah. someone or and something. And all those kind and not, I'm not sure they will do that. So I it, all, it all comes yeah. back to the investment that we are talking about. When everything is going well with the Christian system, yeah. the Christian movie, the producers are doing well, we have investors. I believe that we can get actors who really focus on just the Christian movies yes, and they are Christian going to do well. It's awesome. not about yeah. everything going well. Yes. It's not about everything going well. We have Sorry, Christian I'm bloggers. Sure mm -hmm. about that. We have Christian gospel artists. Yes. Mm -hmm. Things are not going well, but they are still doing it. It's a, it's a decision that I'm an actor and I want to focus on Christian-based movies. Mm -hmm. We have to do it. We have people. We have, we have to do whether the system is right or not. Because see, see, if you want to focus yeah. on that one, yeah. and, the, and those films are not coming, yeah. you'll be forced to move. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we, yeah, have, exactly. we have. We have. With music, with music, you can keep on trying to do singles yeah. and demos. But with film, they should do skits. They should do skits. Hold your horses. Let me read a message from. KC. KC says that it will be difficult in this industry for actors to limit themselves to just faith-based movies. Wow. Because the faith-based movies are not produced enough, therefore there will be a challenge for these actors financially. The problem is that we don't have enough. What do you so think about it? It's true. We don't have enough. What I'm saying to me, yes. I said, when we started, when the uh, the kingdom started the Christian bloggers, we were not having, we were not having enough bloggers. Okay. But they decided to stay on the Christian blogging thing. Mm -hmm. And gradually, gradually, the industry is growing. Mm -hmm. Now we have a lot of yes, bloggers. Were you only blogging on Christian films? Yes, only Christian um, songs and Christian no, events. Was it only Christian films? No. I can't No, that's what I'm saying that. Uh -huh. It was only Christian the same films, as like you have stopped. They but started from Christian music. Christian music. Uh -huh. That's the same way we can get actors who are like, I'm going to only sell Christian stories. Start with skit making, making um, short films, to project the Christian music, you're going to get a lot of people to love the Christian thing and enjoy. Awesome. That's awesome. what I think. So, finally, I need to go go on a break. But Pastor Delong, will you, will you, will you ever kiss in a movie? You're a pastor. <laughs> will I ever kiss? I need to go. I have kiss in the movie. Yeah. How do you so know? I don't know which what? one. You <laughs> have to say <laughs> I repent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in every time, so you have to stop for me to go on a break. You're still watching God's Opinion on the video team. We'll be back. Stay tuned. <laughs> simply seeking some spiritual guidance. Well, our esteemed panel of guests will be here 
to provide you clarity and godly wisdom. Tune in this and every Tuesday at 8 p.m. as we explore the complexities of the Christian faith and uncover the truth that resonates with believers everywhere. Send your one-minute video to the number on your screen asking any question. Just Ask is where every question finds its answer. Stay curious, stay faithful. Only on Dominion TV. Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Gospel PR on Dominion TV. We've been having a wonderful time with the pundits, okay? So ZK and Shishishi, I mean, the pundits that we all know. And of course, Pastor Daniel DeLong is an actor, and he's an amazing pastor himself. And next up is Global 360, where we'll bring you all the latest news in the gospel entertainment scene. We call it Global 360. Watch it and enjoy. Facebook user apologizes to Nathaniel Bassi and Mercy Chingwo following a defamation and cyber-stalking petition filed last week by gospel artist Nathaniel Bassi against four Facebook users. One of them, Kingsley Ibe, has apologized to the singer and fellow counterpart Mercy Chingwo. Ibe also turned himself into police custody. He and three others alleged that Bassi fathered the son of a fellow popular gospel singer, an allegation that went viral on X. The three other social media users identified in the petition are Okoronkor Ejike, Terence Eckert, and DJ Sports Kid. A press statement released by Bassi's legal representatives on Monday disclosed that the police have taken his statement together with the other incontrovertible evidence ready for prosecution over criminal defamation and cyber-related offenses. It also noted that the accused had shown remorse for his actions and was committed to redeeming himself. Mr. Ibe has shown true repentance for his actions and made a commitment to turn a new leaf and become a more responsible member of society. His aged mother and family members have also apologized on his behalf. I have decided to extend a hand of fellowship and love towards him. Renowned gospel sensation Akesi Brimpong is set to elevate the worship experience with his much-anticipated debut indoor concert, Davidic. After years of leading the charge with the acclaimed outdoor gospel event, Agape Carnival, Akesa Brimpong is gearing up to deliver an unforgettable evening of praise and worship on a grand scale. Scheduled to take place on Sunday, April 21st, 2024, at the esteemed Holy Hill Chapel, Assemblies of God, located in Kwame Nkrumah Circle. The Davidic concert promises an immersive worship experience like never before. The event will kick off at 5 p.m., inviting attendees to partake in an event filled with soul-stirring melodies and powerful spiritual encounters. Joining Akesa Brimpong on stage for his monumental event are esteemed gospel ministers including M.O.G. Music, Obapa Christi, and Ohima Mercy. Together, they will lead the congregation in an uplifting journey of praise and adoration, creating an atmosphere of reverence and spiritual renewal. Michael Stuckey, Floats fragrance line infused with passion, faith, and hope for Africa. Michael Stuckey, a prominent figure in the gospel music industry and a successful entrepreneur, has ventured into the world of fragrances with a strong commitment to spreading positivity and inspiration. His decision to expand his creative endeavors into the fragrance market is fueled by his unwavering dedication to uplifting and motivating individuals. Stuckey's fragrance collections are meticulously designed to encapsulate the essence of faith, hope, and love. Each fragrance within the line is carefully crafted to evoke feelings of joy, peace, and personal enlightenment, reflecting Stuckey's deep-rooted desire to make a meaningful impact on those who experience his creations. Stuckey decided to start his fragrance line in Nairobi, Kenya, because of his passion for the African continent and love for her people. The reception to the fragrance line has been so amazing, with more outlets set to be opened within Kenya and, of course, Ghana and Nigeria before the end of the year. Welcome back from Global 360, where we brought you all the latest news in the Christian entertainment scene. So my pundits are seated. Um, 
you seen the news items, your, your comments is shishi. Okay, so I think I'll talk about David I think, um, 21st. Yes. Um, we are going to support Akesi because he has been one of our great guys. Keep doing it and keep giving us good songs. Uh, I think this is one of his, uh, his, his first indoor concert. Indoor. Aside the recordings he has been doing, I think this is a full concert. And the tickets are going, I think, for 50, 80, 150. It's just cool. So every Christian just try and support. Support, support by grabbing your ticket and being there. Because you are going to be there. If you see me, just mention, sh -sh -sh, and I respond. The fireman is yeah, going to be there. Yeah. David Dick. Man of God. Oh, it will actually be my first time. Uh, if, if, and I'll try and make time and go. If I'm not yes. shooting, if I'm not, if you're not shooting, yes, if I'm available, I'll I'll try and, and go. It's it, it it comes with an atmosphere, some aura. It's always good. So I'll try my very best and then and, and go there. Sure, uh, sure, uh, sure. Uh, so. I think I would touch on uh, the Nathaniel Basi yeah. um, issue. Issue. Uh, but I believe that um, Nathaniel and Messi taking people to the court. Uh, it's a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. uh, of late, cyberbullying has been rampant yeah. a lot. Yeah. People just come on social media and they just bully people anyhow. Two CD data. Yeah. yeah. When they buy three CDs data, they can just sit <laughs> they in. They can just say anything they want to say. Uh, and when they see you in person, they can't even watch your face hey. and say the same thing to you. So I believe that it's a step in the right direction. Yes. Whoever is watching this, just know that if you want to comment about people on social media, mm -hmm. you should have facts. You don't just wake up and just say anything you want. I think they took the matter to court, yes. and I believe that whoever uh, said that will be called to the to the law. Sure. And I've seen some apologizing already. Yeah. I believe that should be a lesson to everyone in Ghana. Cyberbullying is one of the 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 biggest worries of celebs and everybody who is in the public space. Yeah. We need to learn from this. We don't just bully people anyhow. If you don't have figures and facts, just stay in your house. Just stay in your house. Yeah. I mean, this is coming from an award-winning Christian blogger himself, ZK. Okay. So, um, your last thoughts: faith-based movies. I mean, anything you want to, uh, you want to speak about in a few. As few I said, yes, yes, please. Uh, we should get more Christians who are going to dedicate themselves to to faith based movies. Let's start by skits. Let's try get the attention of the people. Small, 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 small. Let's get um, the Zikis and the bloggers pushing that agenda. We shouldn't focus only on the music side. Let's watch the movie, um, the movies as well. Yes. Let's keep pushing. And I know that anything that is done for God. Certainly, mm. he will pay his people. Mm. Yeah. Sure. I mean that. Pastor Delong. Yeah, I, I think that the Christendom, um, we should do things rightly. The world is supposed to learn from us. Unfortunately, yeah. the way we, we did our things, we will probably have to go back to the world and learn and bring it back to the church and mm. refine it so that the world will come back and learn it again. Right. And, 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 and that, is, that, is, that is it. Let's, let's, let's get the point. Even if you have to get a non-Christian director mm. to train Christian. Directors to be Christian directors, do it. Do it. Let's do all those investments and build it. I think we can even form a Christian Actors Guild yes. just for ourselves because the Ghana Actors Guild itself yes, is shaking. Yeah. That's from the air yeah, is shaking. The income is shaking. Yeah. So the, let's we form Christian Actors Guild and then we, we get people. There are so many talents in the church. Yeah. Let's not wait for them to go out there yeah. and then they are now. Uh, yeah, they'll come back and uh, preach. Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. It's so true. Let's, Let's try and do that and then push it more. And, and finally, yes. anybody who wants to do any Christian film mm -hmm. or even skits, like she said, like we should start doing skits. I beg you, the information you are putting out there mm -hmm. can make or make, make, make people. So do research. Go to your pastor. Go to senior men of God. Research. Don't just carry anything and throw it on people. Mm -hmm. Don't just carry something and say it's a revelation of God. It's a rima. Masa. What's that in your rima? Please. Don't come into all those things. Do research. Mm. Write your script. Send it to Christian Barrett. And read. What do you think? Blah, 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 blah. All those things. Language. All those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that when it comes out, it might even be a 10 minute stuff, but it will change everything, mm. basically. And I think that it will help us. So let's do it. We can do it. Insightful so thoughts from Pastor DeLong. ZK, sum it up for us. Okay, so I would say that uh, I would call on um, all investors. I believe that there are, there are people in the church who are well resourced to invest in making of Christian movies. So that's why I also pick my uh, advocacy from. Uh, please, whoever is in the church and is well endowed to support creatives in the church, let's do our possible best. I'll throw a challenge to TikTokers and other influential people on the social media mm -hmm. who are Christians yes. who also do their best mm -hmm. in marketing Christian movies because the actors alone can't market themselves. We are in an era where the industry itself is shaking mm -hmm. and now social media has become the order of the day. 
So I would also plead out the all creatives, uh, Christians out there who are TikTokers, who are bloggers, who are uh, social media influencers. Everybody should just come on board. I also entreat our pastors that they have a role to play in making sure that Christian movies are selling out. And on this note, I'll say, uh, I'll say big ups and kudos to our papa for really making a taste of sin. Uh, That's the Archbishop movie. Yeah, yeah it's the eminence. Archbishop. It's eminence, eminence, yeah. Yes, thank you. Guys, thank you so much for the money. Please, please, spread the money on the end. Thank you so much for coming on the show. ZK, I'll pass that along. Next up is Light It Up. We are Light It Up. Stay tuned. Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Gospel PR on Dominion TV. Sorry. Great. Next up is Light It Up. We are lighting it up with the amazing Dr. Christian. Dr. Christian, you're welcome to Gospel PR. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dave. Welcome it's a to pleasure show, to be here on Dominion TV. Thank you for having me, and you're doing a great work here on Dominion TV. It's a pleasure to be Glory here, to sir. God. Glory <laughs> to God. Yes, sir. And, and you are doing a great work, too. I mean, your, your new song, Follow Me. Tell us about, tell us about that song. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, the song Follow uh, was actually from the inspiration of the Holy Ghost that came upon me and the many things that God has done in my life. Um, you know, David said in the 23rd Psalm, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And in looking at my life, looking at my journey from, you know, living in Nigeria to right now living in the United States and how God brought me from the slums to now be a renowned preacher of the word, um, you know, all I could say was, you know, thank God for um, his mercies and his goodness that has continually followed me. And that's uh, the revelation of God in the life of everyone who truly serves him. And, and that's what I was trying to communicate in that, in that song, to let every believer know that there's something called the goodness and the mercy of God that consistently follows them, whether they are aware or not. It follows them. So follow, I mean, who are you looking at? I mean, you're your target audience? Is it the body of Christ or the unsaved? All right. So um, my target audience is not just only the body of Christ. My target audience is the body of Christ and the potential body of Christ. Yeah. Every man, everyone out there. You know, because yeah. the Bible says it is the goodness of God that draws men to salvation. All right. So yeah. even people out there in the world, the average human being, experiences the goodness of God. The goodness of God is always chasing them down. The mercy of God is always chasing them down. The Bible says his mercies endure it forever. So my target audience is to the body of Christ and also to the, and the overall uh, human race. Everybody who loves Afrobeat, who loves music, hearing the message of the gospel of the goodness and the mercy of God chasing us down on a daily basis and so that's my overall target audience awesome. for the god for the music awesome. and in your opinion do you think afrobeat has been accepted by the body of christ looking at the general afrobeat music that you do uh that generally um i don't think afrobeat as a as a music style has been really accepted by the body of christ because you know we still have this idea that it's satan's music but satan does not have own music Music is a form of communicating and relating with God in worship. Music is God's idea. Satan owns nothing. Jesus said, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So every genre of music, as long as the message is the message of light, as long as the message of the gospel, it's translated in that genre of music, like I do Afrobeat. It, I think um, it will be wonderful for the body of Christ to embrace it, and so we can draw in more people and 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 and, and draw in the pop, bring the pop culture to advance the gospel of Christ. Because most young people love the pop culture, so Afrobeat yeah. is pop culture, and we're going to use that to evangelize and to bring glory to, to the name of the Lord. So, concerning the song "Follow," I mean, how can people get the song on the streaming platforms? Can you tell us where we can go? I mean, the streaming platforms. Social, your socials. Where can we get the song Follow? Yes, yeah, so uh, the song Follow is on every streaming platform. It's on uh, uh, Spotify, it's on Deezer, it's on Tidal, it's on Apple Music, it's on uh, iTunes, it's on Amazon Music, it's on YouTube, it's on every, it's on all audio map, it's on every music platform. All you need to do is search Dr. Christian with the title of the song Follow. DR Christian with the title of the song Follow and you will find the music and also it's on my 
social media platform, Dr. Christian Official on or in on every social media platform, Facebook, uh, Instagram, um, YouTube, Dr. Christian Official. Amazing, amazing. So yes, Dr. Christian with the song, follow, 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 follow. Thank you so much for coming on yes, the show. Sir. We'll do this again another time. It's a wonderful song and we're going to play it. Yes, this is a song, follow, be a blessing, as you listen and watch this video song from Dr. Christian. One of God, bless you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. On your mark, let's go. And if you're ready, let's go. On no, on no, on on no, 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 Take on me, me, son, pray to the Almighty One with you like up me there. Mm -hmm. I serve a very, very big God, though. He's always by my side, though. Very, very big God, though. Very, very big God, though. One, two, one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, three, four, I follow you. Anything you want, I go do. Everywhere I preach the gospel. I want your goodness and your mercy. You could they follow, follow me. Eh? Follow, follow me. Just be follow, follow me When I think of your goodness and your mercy It could be follow, follow me eh, Follow, follow me You just be follow, follow me Everywhere I go Christian with follow yes we had a one-on-one -on -one with him an amazing afro pop Christian artist and if you're an artist and you want your music to be played on Dominion TV I mean just just call us I mean the, the numbers are on on your screen just call us and we'll play your music video on Dominion TV 47 African countries and we'll also give you an interview right here on gospel PR on the lightest app segment it's been a wonderful time on the show gospel PR Yes, we come your way every Thursday from 6.30 p.m. And also on our socials, Facebook and YouTube, where we get interactive. My name is Dave Hazel. I'm 11 the Pistol. The enemy, the enemy no go fit handle. Jesus Christ is always going to win. Remember, Jesus Christ is the only answer for you and I to live forever. It is a wrap. Good night.